have this global network of 66 large marine ecosystems, and we found information on jellyfish populations for about 45 of them, so pretty good global coverage. We found evidence for increasing jellyfish populations in about 60% of them. Uh, so definitely more than half we, we found evidence for increasing jellyfish populations over about the last 60 years. Most of the consumption is centered in, in Asia and Southeast Asia, but um, the fisheries are now spreading all around the world. And the global catch of jellyfish now is um, exceeding 1 million tons, which is pretty significant that that actually exceeds the global catch of uh, other things that we consider popular seafood here in North America, such as scallops or lobsters. So so the most common way to sort of serve jellyfish is um, having it kind of thinly sliced into strips and then served uh, as a dish either sort of on its own with a little bit of soy sauce or um, sesame oil or served as an ingredient to a more elaborate dish like a stew or something like that. It's kind of a surprising texture. Um, it's a little more crunchy than you might expect but it's sort of chewy at the same time. It reminds me most of something like al dente pasta. It's certainly um, you know, a popular food in Asia. I think the demand for jellyfish is going to increase, but um, whether it's going to catch on in North America, I don't suspect very much so anytime soon.